Hey guys, just wanted to do a little update. As you know, the house flooded the basement in the area. I've been doing a little cleanup. Uh, I even set up this uh, damn rooster. This fancy schmancy, uh, I like to call this the HP Design Jet Z2100 Flower Garden. I got all of our veggies in there. Celery. Potato plants doing really well, guys. I got a flower out of it. And it's about time to kill that freaking rooster. Uh, sheepskin rug. It got wet, but I put it outside here. All right, they want attention. Uh, cleaning up all this area here. Pulled the quad out. Just to do some servicing on it. It's got a flat tire. Start that later. Flat tire. Put a new bird feeder up. I know my buddy Daryl Caspio had one that was just a little square one. That one was a couple dollars more. At the local home hardware, so I just picked it up. This I gotta address. Guys, this is where all the water came. It came over there, came over there, came there. You can see the mess. Over the next week or so, I'll be cleaning that up. I'm going to have to bring some mud in and take it and taper it down. Uh, this area is sunk. Just bring you over here through all the muck. The water ran through here. I was up in the middle of the night at 3 in the morning. I was just panicked like crazy because the, the water actually receded in the basement and then it started coming up again. So it's like, oh, and that's two pumps going. So um, the water went down underneath there and I guess into where the uh, septic tank uh, hole was and went in underneath the house. Not only did they go there, and by the way, the septic tank is full, it sucks because I just pumped it out. I don't know how water got in there, but whatever. This, uh, this area here was all flooded too, all the way back to uh, just by that um, silver ducting there. This was all underwater. Um, this was somewhat underwater here. Uh, definitely over there. You can see all back there. It's moist. That was underwater. Uh, yesterday I had a fire. The coals are still hot. Actually, I could probably take that. Get that fire going. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Um, So here's the chickens here. On Monday I'm picking up some uh, turkeys and some ducks. And I'll put it in here. Just a couple pictures of them. Here's my garden from last year. Um, it didn't get touched by the flood. So anyways this year what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all this area. I'm going to mulch it into a giant garden. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to plop it over here. And I'm going to take the, the pond I started digging, digging and I'm going to put it over there and move all this stuff over here. Um, and uh, aside from that, let's go check out the basement. And I'll start that quad after too. Not a happy camper that rooster today. Actually, I was up at 7 in the morning. I'm up at 7 every day anyways. Uh, so, I didn't hear him for a couple hours. And I was like, I better go check him. Because normally he is loud. Just going to put this on number 2. Okay. Got the windows up there open. I have the dehumidifier. I run it at night time. Let's we'll turn the light on here. Guys, as you can see from the video uh, before, this was all underwater. Um, and then this area here, it's got water in there. So I'm going to get all that out too. Vacuum all this up. Clean all this. Sweep it up. Bleach it. Guitar case, it was soaking wet. So... Um, 
I was really worried about it, but it did dry. You can see, you see it's still wet here though. So I can probably flip that. Uh, this is my daughter's guitar case, so. And her, the guitar upstairs, the Takamini. That was mine, but I bought it. She played it in school and everything. It means a lot to me. Um, this is the insulation I have to pull out of all the walls. And I'll show you here. It is just, see, it's just soaking wet. So I'm going to pull that all out, air dry it. And uh, my buddy Daryl Caskew, uh, he's with Crack and Jack Construction uh, out of uh, Lockport, uh, Bossier, Winnipeg area. And he said that it should be fine to air dry. So um, I'm going to put that back in there. Uh, and uh, my daughter is coming next tomorrow with her boyfriend. So I'm going to open these windows and shut that dehumidifier off. Some air in here. I'll come back and mop that up. Plug for my friends at the farmery. Guys, whoever got uh, the mail, and I still have to uh, send Tony's mail out. Uh, but uh, whoever got the mail um, got one of the farmery stickers or a few of them in their mail. They are really good friends of mine. I'm going to open this, get some airflow in here. Uh, so, anyways, uh, this was all covered. I was really worried about the freezer, of course, and the, and the washing machine and the dryer, and I did all the washing again. And I have to get water soon because my water's low, so my neighbor's coming to do that. Um, yeah, what else? Um, today, i uh, got a few days off, so I'm going to uh, be cleaning. So, I, uh, as some of you know, I, am, uh, I work at the hospital now, and I'm a... Uh, dietary aid I take care of the residents and stuff like that and just make sure their diets and everything are good especially when it comes to diabetes and stuff like that and I cook food and stuff like that so and all that fun stuff and serve them and all that so um definitely a different change uh what else um so anyways uh the RM guys uh I don't know what to say they uh they, they're pretty much, well, they're not going to do anything, so. But uh, I did talk to some people, even uh, my buddy Dave Wilcox Jr. A lot of people know Dave Wilcox Jr. If you don't, go check him out. I'll put his link below. Awesome guy. Awesome friend. Um, huge supporter. Uh, we both support each other on Facebook and the tubes. Um, as well as I do a lot of other people. And uh, guys, I really appreciate your um, your comments. They mean a lot to me. Um, God bless you all. And um, I didn't comment on them yet. I've uh, just been sort of dumbfounded by this whole thing and and the way the RM is and stuff like that. And um, still still dealing with this part. We lost a lot of stuff. Lost a lot of pictures of Megan when she was younger and stuff like that that just kind of stuck together and washed away and and sort of uh, it's kind of like it when you get water damage on photos sometimes you can save them sometimes you can't I am a photo restoration artist but some of them just they're gone because it just starts leaking so and I can't put that back together uh, so anyways don't want to get into that because I'm an emotional daddy. I am. Uh, let's get back outside. Well, my neighbors are there. We got the truck started. So they're going to come uh, for some water. And guys, the gas prices are going up here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're going up in the States too. But Canada here, they're getting a little bit stupid. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But uh, start this bad boy.
point. Now, did I turn that off yesterday? I did. My little brother was over the other day. He's trying to start, trying to start, trying to start, trying to start. And I didn't realize the gas line was off, guys. <laughs> So anyways, guys, I really, really, really appreciate your guys' supports and uh, and, um, and your comments and stuff like that. And and everybody support you, especially on uh, YouTube and Facebook. And you guys are all, you mean a lot to me right here, right in my heart. And uh, when things happen like this, uh, we all come together as a family. Not as friends, as a family, guys. And I love you guys all, and, and God bless you all. And, and thank you for your warm comments. Um, I'm going to get back to cleaning and I'm going to be going with my neighbors to get the water because I have some other things to do um, in town that I need the truck for um, as far as feed and stuff. And um, thank you guys for all your support. I really mean it. Love you guys and uh, God bless you all. And uh, I'll be posting more soon. And oh, by the way, just to let you know, Tomorrow is Sunday, April 29th, I think. If I'm wrong, it's 2018. I think Monday's the third. I don't know. So, but anyways, tomorrow there's going to be a special thing, and I'm going to do a video on it, and you're going to see it, and it's going to be awesome. And um, I want to start, I want to end this video with very, a lot of positiveness. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you again, guys. I love you guys, and uh, God bless you. And uh, thanks for being part of my family. Uh, we love you all here. Megan and I and the chickens. We'll see you guys later. Ciao for now.